Welcome back. If you just joined us, uh, our guest, our first guest here is Renee, and uh, what we just saw in the last segment, and I don't even know your story yet, uh, but Renee is here to talk about some issue regard involving her husband, but last night there was trouble in the hotel, and your husband went o off the deep end and really got kind of violent, frankly. And uh, one of our security guys here, Mike, Mike. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, Renee, welcome to the show. What is going on? Why? Are you, yeah. What's the story? Well, I'll tell you what. Come here. You gonna hurt me? No. Come here. Mike, stay close. I gotta close. talk to you. <laughs> yeah. Because I, what I gotta tell you. Yes, I'm okay? gonna sit. No, oh, I'm fine. You don't understand. And what I gotta tell you, I'm telling you right now, all the girls in the audience are gonna understand. All right. Yeah. All the guys in the audience are gonna. Well, we'll talk about them later. <laughs> but here's the thing. All right. Now, my husband. Hi. It's a been? pleasure yeah. to meet you. Yeah. I love you on Dancing yeah. with the Stars. Oh, you did all Amazing. Nice. Oh, you're yeah. so good. But now... Yeah. No. But now, so, uh, here's, here's, well, yeah, listen. Before we go too far, your husband's the guy with a baseball bat, so... Yeah, well... How about if I just... Uh, <laughs> well, no, no, come here, honey. It's all right. He likes you. Oh, he likes it's all right. That's good. why we're here, because he likes you. Okay? No, not like that. Oh. He doesn't like you like that, but he likes you. <laughs> Mike? <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Well, here's, here's what's going on. Yes, what's happening? My husband is the head of security for a Polish nightclub in New York, okay? He's and head of security for a Polish nightclub in New yes. York. Yes, and when you meet him, he's Comanche Indian. He's, he's a beautiful man. I love him. Then why does he have a Polish club? Why doesn't he have a Comanche Indian because club? Because the Polish nationals love the American nation. They love the Indians. That's Good. why. Yeah. Well, okay. yeah, I've heard that a lot. But now, listen, I'm going to tell yeah. me, let me finish. They, in fact, they like totem poles. Uh, they certainly do. And that's why I'm here. No, I... Okay, let's talk about the totem pole thing. That's why I'm here. All oh. right. So now, seven years, he's head of security. All right. And he's been spending a lot of time at work. He's only home two days a week. Right. A year ago, I find out that he has an affair with a cocktail waitress. Oh. All right. Now, now I'm going to... Right, you think she, that's bad. She danced on his totem pole? And she danced, she, yeah, she danced on the totem pole. Okay? So now, my husband's very violent. You could see that, right? Yeah, see yeah the I'm whole kind thing? of uncomfortable Do you know right what now. that man means to me? That man is my whole life. He yeah. is everything to me. We worked everything together. We started together. We grew together. We did everything together. Well, right? why do you want to be with him if he's cheating on you? No, 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 no. Listen. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to talk. No, 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 no. He's okay. not cheating I'm on sorry, me. You take the mic. Okay, now listen to me. Yeah. He's not cheating on me. Yes. He cheated on me. He it's had over. an affair. The an affair he had. Okay. Okay. That's not fair, but it's over. It's over. But I You've forgave him. You got 25 him. minutes to get your hands no. off me. Dad, listen. I forgave him, but I didn't. I forgave him, but I don't forget. Okay. I don't forget. I believe And that's me. the thing. Believe and I'm sure all you ladies know you don't forget. Okay? Yeah. We yeah. forgive them, but we don't forget. You are we not, don't forget anything. You strike me as a woman I would not want to cross. Okay, no. Well, I'm sure you wouldn't. So, anyway, what are you doing no. later? No, listen. All right, so now. Yes. All this time passes, and yeah. I look at him, and he touches my hands, and he holds me, and he kisses don't me. Don't tell me what he did next, okay? And, no, I don't know. But it's not the same. <laughs> it's not yeah. the same. I'm 62. It's, are you? Yeah. We, we oh, you look good. I'll tell you that. Oh, it's rented. Now, go ahead. When he holds me and he touches me, it's not the same. Like when it's I looked at him early before. on, because you know that his hands have been elsewhere. Yes, and they shouldn't have been. No, so I'm I can't. On your you side. know what I mean? So now, here's another thing. The story gets the plot gets thicker. All right. So now, I got a Are you following me? My, I'm with you. I hope so. <laughs> I have a 23-year-old stepdaughter. Oh. That lives with us. Okay, oh. beautiful girl, very sweet. Yeah. And I also have a 20, uh, he's 24 now. Young man that uh, Mark and I took off the street, and Mark trained him in security. And he's been with us ever since. He, he's, he's one of the family. He's yes. not like a son. Let's get this straight. He's like one of the family. Right. All right. Well, Eric. Yeah, that's his I, name. Right. Well, Eric and I were very, 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 very tight, very close. And he sees what I'm going through. He sees the anguish. I spend a lot of time oh, talking no, to him. Oh, no, I know where this is going. <laughs> no, well, will you just... Have you been here before? No. Is he? Okay. Now listen to this. Oh, All right? you didn't. So, the problem is, is what? that I want my marriage to work. So Eric and I had this little thing going on, and, it, you know, it's going on for the last month. And then I find out my daughter 
comes to me. Yes. And she tells me, she dates a lot of different boys, yeah. and she tells me that uh, she's in love with Eric. <laughs> she's in love with him. So you didn't know she was in love with No. With do you know how many boys? She's 23. You know how many boys come in and out of the house? They go on dates. They go, they do things. 17. Okay. 17. <laughs> well, that, that's a good number. I just picked that number. Well, you see, now that's what happened. So you now she comes to me, tells me she's in love with him, and now I want to tell her that I had this little affair with her, but I also don't want to betray her father, because this is her biological father. Oh. Am I dragging this out? No, this Ellen. is fine, but I have okay. a luncheon engagement. Well, no way, we'll do lunch. So now, the thing is, is that I brought him on because I want this affair over with. I want my marriage to get back together. I wanted to hurt him like he hurt me. That was the malfunction. I made a mistake. Okay. All right, that was my thing. Yes, I made a mistake. So you don't want to see this Eric anymore. I mean, this. No, you're, Eric you're... lives in our house. Eric is part of the family. But the well, whole thing sure is, is, now. is that the only reason, <laughs> the only reason why I did it yeah. was to get back at him. I wanted him to feel the same pain that I felt. You girls understand that? Yeah. I wanted him to feel what I felt. I wanted him to look at me and, and know that somebody else has been yeah. in those pants. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the same way I got to look at him, and <sighs> then we wipe the. And then we wipe the slate clean and we go fresh. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But now the whole thing is. Yeah. But now the. <laughs> but now well, the whole if thing someone's is, been in those pants, I hope they've wiped the that's slate what I'm clean. I'm saying. But now the whole thing is, I have to let my stepdaughter yes. know. Yes. What's been going on? What so happened? So you want to get everyone together and say, okay, from now on, let's only sleep with the people we're supposed to be sleeping with. Well, either that or get bunk beds, one or the other. I'm not uh -huh. too sure. Let's take a break. When we come back, we'll meet him. Or Molly. Who do you want to meet first? We're going to meet Molly first. We'll be right back. Good day. Good day. The only place to be is right in the thick of it. For your free tickets to the Jerry Springer Show, call 312-321-5365.